Submit a violinist. Global Empire, we in here. Don't be mad. <laughs> be global. Yeah, yeah, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I spar with the best to prove that I'm fit for this test I rose from the west, my shallah, I said on the east I promise you all defeat, my native chucks on my feet On these burning sands, I come from heights where only angels land But still the devil Hey guys, welcome to Surf Show and Tell I'm Noel Salas and today's surfboard review is the Rocket 9 by Channel Islands The Rocket 9 is a small wave signature board by Dane Godowskis and I'm excited to talk about this board. It is a stock board. It's five foot seven by 19 by two and three eighths. The liters of volume is 26.9 and I'm five foot nine and 170 pounds. If you order one of these, I would recommend doing the five fin setup. That's what this is because I think the most interesting and exciting thing about this board is the multiple fin options you can run in this board and it'll ride totally different a bunch of different ways. So before we get into fins, sit back and enjoy the show. So let's dive into the attributes of this board, starting with the concave. We've got a single concave running through here, pretty aggressive, and then it moves into a double concave between the fins and a slight V out the tail. Now, most of the boards I've been reviewing have that single concave, and this one has a double, which is gonna make the board a lot looser and it's gonna channel that water. And I actually like it when, if, if there's a little bit of texture on the surface of the, of the water, it's gonna still feel really loose and free to go rail to rail. So that felt different than the boards I've been riding and I actually really liked it. The other thing I wanna talk about now is the, the rocker. It has a low entry rocker, which is key for a small wave board, right? We wanna keep the board moving down the line. We wanna keep it moving through mushy sections. And the low entry rocker is actually really good for paddling. And then we've got a staged rocker. So you got a pretty straight line from here to here. And that's also going to help me drive through mushy sections. And even like where I surf, it's kind of a slopey wave. And when it gets slopey, I like that because it just drives through my turns. And it's, I'm always waiting for that section that's going to pop up. So I love that. And then it has a medium to aggressive tail rocker, which is... Um, a bit unusual for a small wave board but because it has that it's all actually going to be more versatile and you can you can ride it in a bit bigger waves too i think this board i felt pretty comfortable up to five six feet felt great so i could put it on rail and it didn't feel like it was going to slide out so let's have a look at the rails and the outline on this board so when i pick it up it feels really good it's it's a two and three eighths and it's not a boxy two and three eight and it's not a pinch two and three eighths and the rails are relatively soft, so they're going to be a bit more forgiving. Um, when you're turning rail to rail, I didn't feel like it was catching on the face of the wave in cutbacks. So it felt like it was real smooth and, and it transitioned really well into turns, especially when it was a bit of a thick trough. So I like the rails on this board. I thought it felt great. And then let's have a look at the outline on this because the outline is pretty, pretty unique too. We've got a wide point front from center which is gonna give me that paddle power. You're gonna have most of the volume up here in your chest area, and that's where you need it for small wave pad um, paddling. And then as it comes back into the tail here, you can see it's a pretty pulled in swallowtail, which most small wave boards, I think, have a tendency to have too wide of a tail, and then it really hinders performance if you wanna do some tight turns in the hook. The pulled in um, tail here, the swallowtail, I thought it worked great for that. I, all in all, I felt like the outline, and it has a bit of a curvy outline also, and when you have a curvy outline, as opposed to a straight outline, you're gonna be able to jam the board and do, help the board, the board will help you get into the pocket and do tight turns. As opposed to a board that's straighter, it'll go faster down the line, but it won't like to fit right in the hook. So hey guys, I wanna talk about the fin setup and the fins that I chose because I believe that's make it or break it for this board. It was for me. So I always start every review writing my, with my go-to fin. It's the RTM Tech 1. I really like this fin. And then I also tried it with the Tech 2 and the Tech Flex when it got a little bit bigger. So I started writing this board as a thruster and I tell you, I'm, I just gotta be honest with you guys. If, it, if these were glass and fin thrusters, this would have been the longest review of my life, right? Because the board was, it was loose, but it, had, it didn't have any drive for me, right? And it was funny, I saw Dane out this morning, Godowskis, 
And he said, hey, you got the review coming up. And we started talking about it. And I said, yeah. And I told him exactly what I just told you. I did not like the board as a thruster. And he was like, really? And I said, yeah. I said, but I was talking to another friend out there that told me that Pat and Tanner like it as um, a twin fin with a small trailer setup. So I, I took it, I went back, put, changed the fins, and I started riding it. And man, the board had tons of drive. It was loose and responsive. I didn't feel like because of the center fin, it had it, it, it was holding in my turns. It felt great. So then I wanted to know. Um, I took the GPS unit because I wanted to know what the speed difference was on average between the twin fin, the two plus one setup, and the thruster. So I caught 12 waves with this setup here, and then I caught 12 waves with this setup here. I took an average, and this setup right here was 1.63 miles an hour faster. So almost two miles an hour faster than this on an average of 12 waves, right? And that's because of such a wide base here. And then it still pivots really good because of the small trailer. I also tried it um, with another two plus one setup. So this MTF is the same as these fins here, the side fins, but I tried it with a small trailer. And you know what? This was a smaller trailer and it felt just as good as this one did. So this setup worked really good for me and I highly recommend that you get it as a four fin or a five fin setup so that way you can even try it for you quad guys out there that you can try it as a quad. So if you're ordering custom, go five fin setup so you can mess around with it. So the last thing I want to mention is this board cannot be compared to the CI twin fin. And I'll tell you why. This is a high performance small wave board and it can handle up waves up to six feet because it's got a pretty aggressive tail rocker. So one of the guys on Instagram says, hey, I wanted to know, you know, should I wait and get the Rocket 9 or I want to see the review after before I choose the twin fin? I'm like, well, the twin fin's a really fun board and this is a legit small wave high performance board. So all in all, guys, this is my review. I hope you guys liked it. Check me out on Instagram under Surf Show and Tell. And if you like the show, subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I spar with the best to prove that I'm fit for this test I rose from the west, my shall I set on the east I promise you all defeat, my native chucks on my feet On these burning sands, I come from heights where only angels land But still the devil got the upper hand We live in this promised land, where every promise gets you killed And if you scared, then wear a kill Ain't no police in these fields of dogs It's doggy, dog try to dog me Dog got dog by these paws Cause he dogged me Living in a city where you either fly Crippin' a pyro and a pyrex Crackin' up the youth's vision of life Better yet, think twice Look at your mirror and you see the flash of lights Now what are we gon' do? Are we gon' run? Are we gon' shoot? Cause shootin' for the stars only left us on the moon What's up? This that Tupac That Dr. Dre That Snoop Dogg N.W.A Exit the exhibit Love for this West Coast living This be that Tupac That Dr. Dre That Snoop Dogg N.W.A Exit the exhibit West Coast love for this West Coast living Yeah, can you feel that Cali spirit? Flowing through your veins like a dope needle I am dope Nino every time you drop the needles on my record And recognize the real because I'm real without an effort Are those books I never gave? I'm Cali born and raised Raising out your shadow of a doubt, it's not a game uh -huh. I'm sticking to my lane and the vision I obtain yep. The Prince of Peace is here to change the game I don't even gank bang, but I gotta keep a burner in my lap Why? Just in case the government put us under attack That's And right. what it's like a rack Part of it cause I'm black Part of it cause I come from the wisdom in which they lack You lose is mad cause actual facts is actually apprehended uh -huh. Every false apparatus and malice attended yep. I play this for your soul like a violin or a cello, cello. To live and die in LA, you frolicking in the meadows, what's up? This that Tupac, that Dr. Dre, that Snoop Dogg, N.W.A. Exit the exhibit, West Coast love for this West Coast living. This be that Tupac, that Dr. Dre, that Snoop Dogg, N.W.A. Exit the exhibit, West Coast love for this West Coast living. To live and die in LA.
most love for this West Coast living. This be that Tupac.